Hello everyone, welcome back. If at any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. We've got a cool one today here. We've got a, a little care package from our friends over at ECC Frames. If you don't already know, all these books behind me are in ECC Frames. Um, shout out to ECC Frames for sending this box and reaching out to me and sending this to me. So they watched the video, how many people watched that video, and it also left several questions unanswered. So uh, Roger and Leticia, shout out Roger and Leticia, it's a two-person group over there. They reached out to me and they sent me these different options for your, your graded comic book displays. So we've already shown you uh, the metal frame, uh, the, the one option which you see behind me. Inside this box there's going to be two frames I believe. One is going to be the economy graded frame which will have a UV glass plate over the front. The other frame will be a, a graded magazine size or oversized comic frame. Okay, without further ado, let's bust into these. Let's do some close up shots, show the comparisons, and talk about it. All right, we've got it unboxed. We've got the two frames here. And before I go any further, I want to be completely transparent. They did send me these, um, but this is a, a fantastic product. I wouldn't even be showing you or using them if I didn't believe it was. They all sent me, also sent me a little, uh, little note here, and I will include that text in the description below. If you have questions, and many of the questions you guys had will be answered from that letter that I put in the description. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about this comic, uh, this economy frame that fits CGC, CBCS, and PGX. This looks like it's a wooden frame with a black background. Let's bust out of this, let's bust out of this wrapper and let's take a closer look at it. In comparison, this is the economy frame. So we've got a much thicker uh, black border, and this is actually uh, wood. It's not a metal uh, frame. This outer portion is um, uh, painted. Now this already came assembled. So the back of this, these just un unscrew uh, here, here, and here. You don't even have to unscrew them completely. You just can kind of turn them to the side. You don't have to take this off. The book just kind of slides in. The joints are already um, sealed. Everything is good to go for you as soon as you get it. So a lot less assembly. And as far as uh, the benefit of this, the huge benefit is that there is a clear uh, UV resistant, clear piece of acrylic. Um, the, the acrylic comes a little bit dusty. I try to clean it, you know, just quickly. Uh, just kind of take some Windex or some glass cleaner over that and that'll get it really clean for you. So that is your, your other option. This is their, one of their top selling frames according to Roger. Now this is packaged much differently than my metal frames were. Uh, the metal frames were packaged uh, basically in just some tissue paper wrapped up close together. And as you can see here, the metal pieces were kind of uh, just kind of tethered together. And then in a plastic bag, all the, the joint pieces were together with the screws as well as these plastic spacers. So before I go any further, these plastic spacers, the intention of those is so that they can fit any type of graded comic. Not all, comic, uh, not all graded comics have the same thickness um, and size. So for my CGC graded books, I, I didn't need these plastic spacers. But according to Roger, other uh, graded comics will need these because of the thickness variation. Older CBCS books, older CGC encapsulations will need those spacers. As far as a price point on this, it looks like it's around $75, um, but it is a quality frame. This thing is beautiful. All right, so here is how it looks with the finished product. Thick um, border as opposed to the a thinner border of the metal frames. Um, it's it's almost looks like you know like more like a picture frame. The book is very sturdy in here. I'm shaking it around. It's not moving at all. The assembly of this was much much easier than uh, my other frames that I purchased, where those all had to be all the screws have to be uh, loosened. The only thing that's included in here are the bumpers. So these will go on the very bottom of the frame to prevent scuffing on the wall and then a, um, a hook and a nail so that you can hang it on your wall. Uh, this is very nice. Um, the book fits in here very, very well and I think it displays pretty well. Um, there's a couple things I don't love about this. Um, 
I feel like the thickness of this frame kind of takes away from the, the book a little bit. It makes it uh, look smaller maybe. And then the edges, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like hiding hiding your, your clear edges. It's kind of, I would have kind of equate it to like, uh, like maybe too big of an iPhone case on your iPhone where it kind of hides that bezel. Um, that's kind of what I would equate this to. I think this is a very nice frame and with the uh, UV protection uh, plate over this, this is a good option for people that are displaying their books where there's sunlight, uh, a little bit higher of a light area. So this is a good option for that, okay? All right guys, so this is an example of the metal graded comic frame. Uh, this is their lowest price point. This is a $55. Um, and like I had shown before, this fits your CGC, CBCS, and uh, PGX graded comics. These clear plastic spacers, I talked about them. There are differing sizes of those encapsulated books. So these spacers are needed as far as uh, older uh, encapsulations for those books because the cases are different sizes. Here's the joint pieces that come together. These come in a uh, plastic bag. And then here are the uh, long pieces and short pieces as far as the frame goes. Now, when it's in the frame, this is what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, thin black border. Um, everything is easily seen. And then on the back, uh, we've got these uh, clear bumpers and then these these joints basically just kind of unscrew and tighten and create pressure to keep the uh, book inside. All right, so this is the economy size magazine frame. Now this is identical to what I, um, I had previously. Obviously those were for regular size uh, CGC graded books. This is the economy metal magazine frame quite a bit bigger and I don't have any graded magazine books. So um, when I talked about this in the previous video, I had like oversized books for like example, um, this is a thicker encapsulation and it's just too tight within the uh, CGC or within the uh, regular frame. Unfortunately, I cannot show a great example of the um, the magazine size in this in this frame. So unfortunately, I can't show a great example of um, a magazine uh, size book in this frame because I just don't have one. But it's the same kind of deal um, as far as the joints go, and it's already comes assembled. Uh, so that's awesome, guys. What do you guys think? Are you going to get some ECC frames? If you have questions. Leticia and Roger are great. They're super responsive, get back to you really quick. If you have other questions, and some of the questions that you might have are in the description below, um, let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If at any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Take care.